And that's what brings a lot of conscious content creators to the digital platform. You should always be the main character everywhere that you're at in your life. It's giving you life, right? So you're just going to keep doing it, right? It's that feedback loop. No level of analytics or numbers can be put on that. And that will be what keeps you going. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you're new, my name is Andrea Johnson. I am your spiritual inspiration here to inspire and teach you how to master your energy to live out your soul's purpose. So let's dive into some conscious content creation. In this video specifically, I want to dive into YouTube because a lot of you guys out there are wondering if you should even start a channel, if it's even worth it, if you can grow, get your message out there. So I want to shine light on the truth and this video will help you understand the importance of why it is that you're doing what you're doing and how conscious content creation, specifically YouTube for long content creation is really beneficial. Even if you're just starting out, or even if you are a small channel, this video will help show you the truth and get your mind in alignment for success in the long haul. One of the biggest benefits that I've seen and just being an online creator, specifically YouTube, is it's helped me self-develop. Whenever you're creating content, guys, you have to have skill sets. And this is why it's very difficult for people to overcome that barrier of even starting because it's really gonna test you. And these are skill sets that are just what I consider life skills or successful people to have, which is planning an organization because you're gonna have to script and plan your content, your videos. It's also going to be testing your public speaking and your charisma. So when I first started my YouTube channel, I was actually a very terrible public speaker and I was scared to share my voice, but I knew the messages that I had inside of me needed a place to express themselves. They needed to be heard, they needed to help people, right? And that's what brings a lot of conscious content creators to the digital platform is because it is a space of where they can make an impact, right? To do that, you're going to have to be able to develop your charisma skills. This is a spiritual skill that even Jesus said we had to have to be a leader, right? And it's not even just on the online space, guys. I've seen this skill transfer into multiple facets of my life because I am also in the nine to five corporate world where I have to learn how to speak up and use my voice and to get my message across to get bias in on certain things that I think are changes that I feel like we need to make in the organization, right? It's being able to consciously construct a message in which people can receive. And that is a skill. Your charisma and your voice is powerful. And that is something that social media or YouTube has helped me develop over the years. If you go back and you watch my original YouTube videos, you could tell I'm a little more awkward or I'm trying to develop myself. And I still to this day am developing and it is a process. It's a growth mindset of you're getting better. Another skill that YouTube has helped me develop is the art of storytelling. I absolutely find this fascinating and it's something that I've also learned in just even my spiritual studies. Even got brought up at a women's conference that I attended for my corporate nine to five, how storytelling is actually a very powerful way for the human mind to accept information. There's some scientific proof to this, guys, of when we tell stories, it's almost like it's coming across to the viewer or to the person listening that they're able to accept the information better because it's like they're experiencing it with you. You tie in the emotion to the thought. So it better solidifies the idea in the person. When you're telling a story from an authentic place to get a message from your heart out there and you have a powerful message and a story behind it, you can really help change the world or sway people's opinions or perceptions and how they see something and they could see it for the better, right? Because truly we can't really change people unless 
they we change the perception and the strongest way to do that is to shift the feeling of how they view and feel about something and also storytelling is just a great way to make connections with people genuine authentic connections because us humans like people that we have things in common with. We like people that we have the same struggles with, that we have the same successes with, right? The same energies with. So when we can relate to people online or just like in person through storytelling and we can accept a message, we really bond with these people and we create genuine connections. I would have never learned that had I not dove into trying to understand how to create conscious content online and how to get my message out there properly. There is a science behind the brain and the psyche um, and the soul, honestly, of how it relates to information. And this is where my spiritual studies came in as well too, because we are spiritual beings and a part of that is making connections with others and understanding the way the body, mind, and spirit work together. Understanding your human mind and the way that it works and processes information is very critical in developing your psychic skills. Another benefit that creating in the online dimension has done for me is it's helped me network and it's helped me create genuine connections. This is so powerful guys, developing online communities because we can literally reach people across the world that we would have never met otherwise and creating a community online really can help you in your personal life. Who we surround ourselves with, guys, or what we submerge ourselves with on the content online really can impact us in our life because we become that vibration as well, too. So when you develop genuine connections with people who have, you know, the same goals as you, who help build you up or help you become that vibration. Maybe you're developing connections with people who have what you want, but you never would have met them otherwise unless it was for the digital dimension. I have tons of teachers online or people who have created courses and developed communities for students that I'm a part of that helped my spiritual journey, that helped me develop my psychic skills, and it's helped create a safe place for me to express myself and basically give me permission to be who I want to be genuinely. It's because when we're surrounding ourselves and making connections with like-minded people, we're not only just becoming that energy and making each other better, like developing one another. And guys, trust me when I say we literally become their vibration. It's crazy scary how who you surround yourself with, how the energy impacts you in your life. But whenever we're surrounding ourselves with people that we want to be, they're subconsciously giving us permission to do that. And honestly, it just feels good to make connections with like-minded people and have really lifelong friends. I have met so many energy workers or Reiki teachers online just from like courses that I've taken or like readings that I've done whatever you want to call it, that I still contact today and we catch up and we just have great life conversations. And it's great to touch base with these people and just see how they're doing, see how life's going, or to even just talk about the struggles that you're facing. Connections and networking are so powerful. We live in a day and an age where it's basically at the tip of our hand every day. I truly feel that a lot of success comes from just by who you know. It's even in the business world, guys. And um, I compare a lot of this stuff to my corporate nine to five job or just business in general because that's been a huge part of my life as well for since I was 18 years old being in the corporate world. So I understand the importance of the connection of making good connections and networking to really help you achieve your goals and even skill sets, learning, finding mentors, things like that. Another thing that YouTube has really helped me do is develop my career and not my YouTube career, but my corporate nine to five career. And it's because the skills transfer, the skill transfer of organization, of planning, of speaking, and it's really built up a confidence in me. And it's not necessarily just the personal skills transfer that it's giving me. It's also the technical 
transfer as well too. It's also the organization of information and to be able to present a message, right? A lot of businesses nowadays really look for people with skills in social media or technology because it's necessary. We have to have these things. And if you think about it, you have an older generation in corporate America or just in the workforce that it's a struggle for them to really learn these things. Now you have new generations coming up to where it was essential for us to understand technology, to even get through school, right? To do online courses. We're very familiar with it and we're very familiar with the change in technology. So we understand how we have to adapt to really move ourselves forward because otherwise there, <laughs> there is no other option. You either adapt with technology or you don't adapt at all and therefore you don't evolve or become marketable, right? So this is a very necessary skill that I feel like a lot of entrepreneurs have to have, business owners look for that and people that they hire and even in corporate America, you have to have this. So another thing that YouTube has helped me with is developing my personal brand because YouTube or any kind of content creation or even starting a business for that matter is a process of self-discovery. I really feel like a lot of important life aspects that we go through, um, and that's even just like if you were in a corporate nine to five, challenging things, they're really gonna make you face yourself and really gonna test you, like what kind of person are you, right? So it's a it's that kind of a process of self-discovery, but it's also a process of self-discovery and how you work, things that you like, your creative endeavors, where do you naturally flow? And that's to say like with your job of what you're doing in your corporate nine to five or where your interests lie online. What do you want to create? What do you want your message to be, right? Where do you want your impact to be? So you can see how these skills are very much interchangeable because I truly feel like the impact that you make online and your personal brand and who you are and your self-expression, you're gonna be that across the board, right? I do not believe you should show up as a presence online as an unauthentic self and do the same elsewhere in your life. You should always be the main character everywhere that you're at in your life. And the process of self-discovery and creating, especially in the digital dimension where it feels like there's endless possibilities and energies out there that you can really just tap into and create whatever it is your soul is wanting to create. So you just find where you fit in, if you wanna call it your niche or things that you're drawn to, and you may surprise yourself because when I first started creating content, creation for me was a very big challenge, but it was something that I made a passion out of because of how big of a challenge it was. It's almost like I make my pain my power in almost every aspect of my life because otherwise, how am I gonna overcome it? It's like taking something that's uncomfortable, facing it, and then getting that satisfaction of achieving it or overcoming it. But another benefit to YouTube, and it's kind of part of this process, is it's documenting everything. And like I was telling you guys before earlier, that when I first started my channel, my skills were not to where they are today. My skills of storytelling, my charisma, my even presence and my energy online, it coming across to you, you could tell that I still was kind of like in my shell and introverted to where now I'm more like, boo, you know? And it's even to just like go back and look at that and be like, wow, like, Look how far I've come. Look at my life. Like where where I'm at now, like you know, even my home is looking different. So it's interesting to see and document the journey of you becoming whatever it is that you're wanting to become or do online, right? Or just even in your life and you see how that energy transfer like in yourself is then reflected back into your just world and your videos, right? How things are looking so different. I really feel like that is important to share with people because a lot of the times people see the overnight success. People hop on your channel and they're like, oh my gosh, how did they get there? You, you don't understand the process that people had to go through to be who they are today, right? It is a growth mindset. 
So you have to start from somewhere. And it's honestly like, if you think about it, guys, it's just documenting life. You know, you're going to grow and evolve in some form or fashion in life, whether that be really fast or really slow, something is going to be changing within you because that is the ever constant in our life. It's really helped me romanticize my life and just my human everyday life and creating more grounded content creation. Because if you guys see my channel you see that i i love the high vibe stuff i love the spiritual stuff i love to teach my soul is a teacher but when i'm constantly in that i am not just in that online guys i am that outside of youtube as well too i become it literally it kind of like separates me a little bit from my human existence and if i don't tend to the human aspects of my life i kind of lose myself i kind of become disconnected to people, to my job, to just human activities. The whole purpose of really having this experience or part of it, what YouTube has helped me do is romanticize my life and help me take care of me because I feel like all of us deep down inside are creative beings because we come from the creator, right? This is just our natural state of being. It's helped me romanticize my life by creating that romance, by creating my life as a story. We are the story. We are the main character. We are the character of God, right? We are the thought of God creating in this life. And to capture that on film or consciously create that, on film is kind of fun and it's kind of like adding another level of i don't know energy or just like romanticizing fun self-care whatever you want to call it creativity to mundane life because before youtube guys i really felt like my life was mundane it was a cycle it was just kind of like uh we're doing the nine to five again we're coming home we're cooking dinner we're reading a book we're going to bed like let's no, let's romanticize life let's actually plan out and do things like you know like you would script a video script your life and do things for fun and it's more motivating to do things knowing that it's going to be watched by others to help them in their life, to help inspire them. And that is what has really brought me to find fulfillment on this channel, which brings me to my next step, is social media with the right mindset will provide you with a sense of fulfillment like no other because it's a great creative outlet to express your authenticity with being in service to others. Because when we show up as our authentic self, there's an energy that comes across the camera. There's an energy that comes across content behind words. Whenever you're showing up as your full authentic self, it's gonna be read by the, somebody else on the other side and that energy is gonna hit them. And they're not gonna know why, maybe consciously, maybe they do know why they're drawn to you. There is an energy, there's something very healing about you that they're drawn into, right? And you know, this happens naturally, guys, but when you get conscious content creators who are their authentic self, you can really change people's lives with your content. And to know this information brings forth a whole nother level of purpose. And it also holds you accountable to consciously create your life for the better because we cannot help other people until we help ourselves. So when you're showing up online as your authentic self and you're truly the thing that you're expressing online, you're gonna help a lot of people. And honestly, guys, when we're doing that, it doesn't matter the number of viewers that we have. It doesn't matter our analytics, whatever you want to call it, even though it can be very frustrating because we are fed the idea that our level of success should be based upon numbers that are reflected back to us in our content. Now, don't get me wrong. Those are important aspects to consider if you're trying to grow because it's feedback. But the truth that's going to keep you going is that feedback loop of putting your authentic self out there, your message, and creating authentic content and impacting other people's lives. It's a being of service to other people. And the digital dimension is a powerful place for that. No level of analytics or numbers can be put 
on that. And that will be what keeps you going. You have to hold on to that mindset. And that is why you are creating. This in the long term will be what brings you success, right? Now, it's not all just luck. Trust me, it's not all just luck. You have to, I say, meet the universe halfway. If you really want to grow and make this like a full-time thing or stuff like that, there will be a process of learning and self-development like we talked about. You cannot lose if you pair that authenticity with willing to self-develop and learn. It's kind of like you have to balance the two. And when you come to this understanding, then it doesn't matter. Like you're just understanding that it's a growth mindset and over time it's going to happen. And whether or not you, what you feel like is the level of success as far as the numbers that hit, it doesn't matter because you're doing what you're doing. You're doing what you love and you're feeling that life force within you. So it's giving you life, right? So you're just going to keep doing it, right? It's that feedback loop, right? Eventually, yes, the universe will show up and, and it's like depositing. I call it the energetic bank account. You show up, you're putting high vibe content, authenticity, love out there. And even though you're not seeing the instant gratification that we're all so used to now, thank you social media at the same time for doing that and the internet, but over time it will happen, right? Those are when the big things hit. So you have to just cling to the feeling of what you're creating now and understanding it's a growth journey. The energy that you feel now, it's frustrating for a lot of people. I feel like because the energy that they're pouring into it now, the authenticity that they're pouring into it now, they feel that greatness. They feel like they could help a lot of people. They feel that intense energy, but their external world isn't reflecting that greatness just yet. It will come as long as you hold that vibration, okay? It's the right mindset, okay, guys? So hopefully this video inspired you to keep going, especially if you're a small content creator, if you're a spiritual entrepreneur, Hopefully this helped you just stay your course, maintain that vibration um, because the digital dimension is a powerful dimension. It's honestly one of the closest things that we can come to manifesting instantly where we do in the spiritual realms because that's more of the thought. You think a thought and you are it, right? Because it, technically you are. It's just proving it to yourself here by doing the things in the physical to basically be the proof of it, right? We need some form of a uh, self-assurance or some kind of like evidence in our external world to reflect that back, the feeling that we have on the inside, right? So anyways, guys, hold that vibration. This is a powerful platform to manifest and to change the world. So sending you all my light and all my love. Satnam. Satnam.